Toronto Maple Leafs trade rumors are intensifying with recent reports linking them to a former defenseman. Also, we have a wild trade update on Tyler Toffoli saying he may be linked to multiple teams. And we'll break it all down for you coming up on this episode of Hatcher HQ. But before we get into it, we're proud to announce that once again, this video is brought to you from our friends at Rentals.ca and moves are coming. With all the rumors and reports that have been coming out around the league, fans have been expecting for a lot of major shakeups to happen around the league, which should definitely be exciting for hockey fans. And if you feel like you need some extra excitement in your own life, then it's time to move for you as well. And Rentals.ca has you covered. Rentals.ca is Canada's largest apartment hunting network. You can rent houses, apartments, condos, whatever it is, Rentals.ca has you covered. From coast to coast, you can go straight to Rentals.ca. The website is super clean and easy to use. My favorite part is the interactive map. You can check any street in any city you want to move to. You can find your next apartment, where you want to start your new life, where you want to just continue your current life. And it's just so clean and easy to use. And once again, shout out to our friends at Rentals.ca for coming back on board and sponsoring another video. And they're big hockey fans, just like all of us here on the channel. So if you are looking to move, make sure to go check out Rentals.ca down in the description, down in the pinned comment, and let them know Hattrick HQ sent you. But with that said, let's go right into the first topic of the video today, which is to fully link to multiple teams. And as we take a look here from Darren Dreger on Insider Trading, trading he says the Devils uh, would prefer to extend to Foley and... Uh, and they have engaged in extension talks in some degree with his agent, Pat Brisson. However, New Jersey are not a playoff team as of right now. They will take the next three games out west to deeply analyze their team. And we do have a, a quote here from Donnie and Dolly on their show uh, where he said, Tyler Foley is an interesting name to track here. He had meaningful, meaningful chemistry with Elias Pettersson during his brief run with the Canucks in 2020. And the freshly extended Canucks center is a huge fan of his game so we could potentially see uh, him get traded to the Vancouver Canucks here with another team that is in interested this was from Darren Dreger on insider trading as well he mentioned to Foley as a potential fit for the Oilers it makes sense given that the 31 year old will be a free agent this offseason with the Devils falling further and further out of the playoff race he may be he may very well be on the move in the coming days and um uh, as you just take a look at Tyler Toffoli's stats here, obviously this guy has been a, a great uh, forward in the NHL for quite some time here. Uh, so far this season with 60, game, uh, 60 games played, he has 44 points, 26 goals, 18 assists. Also has 60 hits, ramping up the physical game, which we know out of Tyler Toffoli here. And if we take a look at his current contract, as I said here, he is expiring after this year uh, with a cap hit of 4.25 million AAV. And Mark, this is a very interesting name. Obviously, I'm very familiar with Tyler Toffoli's game during his time in Montreal. I was a really big fan of him during his time in Montreal. And I think adding him into a contending team's top six right now, like the Canucks, like the Oilers, could really push them over the hump. Yeah, like they said in the article, they wanted to just kind of reevaluate and see where their team stood after the Western Conference trip in the four games, which was the one game leading up to before them leaving and them leaving. They are currently one in three in those four games. So it seems like the Devils are getting to the point of wanting to just kind of retool, just trade off what they have in UFAs, whatever it might be, and look into next season. We just seen them fire their head coach. So it does seem like they're going the route of moving on from guys like Tyler Defoley and whoever might else be there the big thing with Toffoli is he is a big winger we can see him score goals we've seen him do it during his entire career we've seen him do it with Montreal we've seen him do it with the Flames the Canucks the Kings the Devils and the big thing with this guy is he doesn't necessarily need a great playmaker next to him he can create his own shot does he benefit from a playmaker obviously and this is where it gets interesting you look at the Canucks, they have guys like Elias Pettersson, they have Hoaglander currently playing on the top line. If you put a guy like Toffoli on that wing up on that top line, I think that's one of the best top lines in the league. You just have depth throughout the entire Canucks in the top six, the top nine. They look outstanding, and adding Toffoli to this just helps with the mix. And then if you put him on a team like the Oilers, you have guys like Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, and this is going to really help benefit his game. Like I said, I definitely think the Devils are selling them, especially with them going one and three in their last four games. Moving on from their head coach, no contract extension in place yet. And I think it's just a matter of who bids the most. Maybe this is a, six, uh, a second round pick and a prospect, maybe multiple picks, but every team is going to be in on this guy. And I think he's definitely going to move, uh, be moved ahead of March 8th. 
Yeah, I definitely have to agree with you. I really like his fit on either one of these teams here. Obviously, you know what you're getting with Tyler Toffoli. You're getting a great goal scorer. He's good at creating his own shot, like you said. Uh, but the one thing that, you know, really is great for me is the playoff experience that he has. He went to the finals with Montreal back, I believe it was 2020, the year they made it to the finals. COVID year, I know a lot of people say it doesn't count, but it counts in my mind. But he also did win a Stanley Cup back with LA during his time there, so he knows what it takes to get into the Stanley Cup final, know what it takes to win the trophy, then this is just some experience that he's going to bring to a team like the Oilers, like the Canucks, teams that, you know, have, haven't have been there and are looking to get there, and I think this is uh, would be a big acquisition for any one of these teams, and in the Oilers right now are kind of in their window where they need to win, you know, Drysdale and McDavid are kind of, you know, on their last legs, not really their last legs, but the last legs of their contracts, and you want to keep those guys around, so so maybe bringing into Foley to bolster up this forward lineup could really help to propel them into the Stanley Cup race. But it'll really be interesting to see what Tyler Foley, uh, have, what happens with them here at the deadline. Because like you said, things are trending into in the direction that, you know, he's going to be moved with them firing the coach, with them, uh, you know, losing, you know, so many games, falling further and further out of the playoff picture. It looks like they're maybe looking to retool and go forward to next season. But it will be interesting to see what happens with Tyler Foley here come trade deadline line day and we'll keep you up to date on what happens here but we're going to get into our second top of the video today which is Treliving adding another former Leaf. And uh, as we take a look here, uh, this is on the Hockey News where they said the Maple Leafs could reportedly be in the mix to acquire another former defenseman. After Toronto added right-handed shot defender Ilya Labushkin this past Saturday, uh, TSN insider Chris Johnston uh, suggested that the Maple Leafs GM Brad Treliving might be targeting Min the Minnesota Wild defenseman Zach Bogosian. And uh, obviously right now they do say here that Minnesota is trying to resign Bogosian, but... With, the, with where the Wild are at, and if they're not able to do that in the next couple of days, I think he's a strong candidate to be moved. And if we just take a look uh, at his stats here, obviously this guy's a seasoned veteran here in the NHL. He's been around since the Atlanta Thrashers. Can you imagine that, Mark? That's how long he's been in the league. Uh, but, I mean, right now through 43 games this season, uh, has played solid hockey in Minnesota in my eyes. Has 51 blocks, 80 hits. He's obviously a guy who's going to bring a physical presence out on the ice. And at his current contract, uh, you know, in his last year here at 850K, I mean, Mark, this guy is a steal for 850K, a right-handed shot defenseman here um, that, you know, is a little bit older in 33 years of age, but you know what you're bringing in with this guy. You're bringing in the physicality. You're bringing in, uh, you know, a warrior here that's going to go to battle for you in a playoff series. Yeah, that's a big thing with Bogosian. and we've seen him with the Leafs. We've seen how outstanding he played for them. He's a big body. He's going to put everything on the line. It's a low cap hit, so the Leafs can acquire this guy without having to move out any roster players and to really shake up anything in what the, they currently have. I mean, right now they do look like one of the hottest teams in the NHL. The last thing you want to do is move a couple of guys out, shake that chemistry. Bogo knows a lot of players on the Leafs, and I think bringing him in as a sixth or seventh defenseman, especially if the Leafs are looking at having a long playoff run, is definitely the best way to look at this. I mean, there's going to be so many teams actively trying to get defense, and we're seeing names pop up from all over the place. But if the Wild can sign Bogosian, I think this is a guy Brad Living can bring in a lot cheaper than people are expecting. Get him in for this playoff run, like I said. He knows what it takes to win the Stanley Cup. He's been in the playoffs before. And I think he's a sneaky ad that the Leafs really are going to look at and hopefully acquire. Yeah, and a real, uh, pairing that I would really like to see play out here in Toronto would be Benoit and Bogosian. Can you imagine that line? I mean, you're going to be leaving the ice with, uh, with ice packs on because your body's going to be banged up a lot going against those guys. Yeah, that's a big thing. The Leafs just want to make this a hard team to play against. We've seen how Brad Treliven has treated this team. He brought back Boosh. He's a hard-nosed, right-handed defenseman. We've seen guys like Tyler Bertuzzi come in, Max Domi, Ryan Reeves. He's adding this kind of just snarl to this team that a lot of Western Conference teams have, not so many Eastern Conference, and it looks like Brad has his vision on what he wants his defensive pairings to look like, and getting a guy like Bogosian just seems exactly what he's envisioning. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with you. I really love what Brad Schliving has, has done to this team this season, kind of bringing that West Coast vibe, that, you know, big body, you know, bone-crushing energy to this team, and bringing in a guy like Bogosian is really going to even make that uh, more of a thing here, and I think this guy 
Kawhi would be a great acquisition. Like you said, Tarung is a 6th, 7th D here. Could really help them out in a pinch and really help them in the playoff series. And, you know, when you're in, potentially in a 7-game series, you're up against the same opponents every second night. You're, you know, they're getting under the opponent's skin. I really think this could be a great addition for the Toronto Maple Leafs. But we want to hear from you guys. Let us know down below in the comment section. What do you think about bringing Bogo back? Because I think me and Mark would love to see that happen here come trade deadlines. So let us know down below in the comment section. But we're going to get into everybody's favorite topic here. And that is comment of the day. And the comment of the day today goes to Mirdad Rasai. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. But I thought this was really interesting, Mark. He says, I follow you guys from Iran. He says, love your take takes on the Leafs. Videos are very sharp and informative. Thank you. Go Leafs, go. And Mark, if you had to tell me seven, eight months ago when we started this channel, we'd have viewers from Iran. I, I don't think I'd believe you, but shout out to you. Really appreciate your support here on the channel. And just love that you, you found the channel, that you like it. And I want got you guys to go down below, comment down below where you guys are watching from. Because this really got me thinking, are, is Hatrick HQ gone worldwide, Mark? I, I, I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section below but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go down below hit that like button hit that subscribe button we're on the road for 3,000 subscribers we're like 50 subscribers away way right now and we really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving us over this year and we really appreciate the spot you guys have got us in and we're almost at our goal of 3,000 we really appreciate it if you're not subscribed already to go down below and hit that subscribe button and once again shout out to our sponsor this video rentals.ca for coming back on board and sponsoring this video if you're looking to move make sure to check out the description to pin comment rentals.ca will have you covered and if you enjoy the nhl make sure to check out this video we did on the leafs yesterday he'll be popping up on your screen right now but as always i've been your host casey alongside my co-host mark pie keep your stick on the ice